Today in this video, the auditor is continuing the audit of uh, measurement system analysis for attribute measuring systems, and particularly looking at the interpretation of results for visual. Watch this video and see whether the auditor audits this effectively. Let's just take stock of how far we've got to then. Mm -hmm. So what you've explained to me so far then is you've taken 50 of these. Yeah. You've taken three appraisers. Yeah. And I think we've discussed that they're not the normal users of the equipment. Yeah. Uh, and you've taken 50 parts, some good and some no good. Yeah. Now what I'm interested in then Take me through, not just for this, but how do you interpret results from attribute agreement analysis? So we assign each of the 50 parts a uh, result, whether it's good or bad. So we right. establish the reference and for, I can for the see 50 parts. That you can data. see that. But then when we come down to the results, yeah. what tells you whether this attribute agreement analysis is acceptable? So we look for the overall kappa value um, and the basis that we use is if it's 0.75 or above then that indicates a level of agreement that is acceptable. And where does that 0.75 come from? I think that is in the AIAG MSA book. Um, if I'm honest, I, yeah, I just have it in my mind. I've been doing this for a number of years right. now. Um, and I think and you know, five is the... Yeah. Um, but you know my style now, that yeah. we have to incorporate yeah. in customer-specific requirements. So what let's, do your let's customers have a look. say yeah. about attribute agreement analysis? Okay, and the, the good news is um, 0.75. So anything 0.75 or above would be, um, would be acceptable. Right. And I see in your interpretation of results here then that generally the combination of kappa scores are okay. Yeah. But we have an issue with the combination between the results between appraiser B and appraiser C. Yeah. What, does, what did you do to interpret those results? Well, to be honest, we need still to do a bit more work on understanding where that difference is and what that difference is. Um, but we haven't really done that analysis yet, partly because we, we've got this 0.75 or higher result. Right. Um, but the reason I'm really focusing on this is the number of issues that you've had with visual defects yeah, yeah. on these appearance item yeah. parts. It really has now given me concern that you've done some studies, but yeah. you can't really explain to me the statistical techniques that you're using to be able to interpret the results effectively. So I will be following up on this okay. when I start to look at the competency of the people that I've interfaced with doing okay. this part of the audit. Yeah. The good thing in this video was the auditor was not just looking at the summary results for the attribute agreement analysis study for visual inspection. They will really question the auditee on their statistical understanding of the results. So once the auditor had checked who was involved in the study, where were the parts selected from the study, and where was the study done, we can then move on to the interpretation of the results. And the auditor questioned the organization on the acceptability of the study. And the auditee stated that an acceptable result from the attribute agreement analysis was a kappa score of greater than 0.75. The good thing is the auditor then questioned where did this 0.75 come from and then followed the audit trail to look at the relevant customer specific requirements. And that indeed was the customer specific requirement that there are kappa scores above greater than 0.75. But the good thing again, the auditor followed it further and didn't just look at the overall kappa score they looked at the kappa combination between appraisers and found that there was an issue in the kappa score between the alignment of results between appraiser B and appraiser C. But it was evident that the auditee didn't really have the good statistical understanding 
of the analysis of this attribute agreement analysis. So the auditor was right to say that they were going to follow this up further when they look at the competency related to understanding of statistical techniques. So let's summarize. Attribute agreement analysis is one way of measuring measurement system variation for attribute measuring systems, which can include visual inspection. The second learning point is, rather than just looking at the summary results, auditors should have the competency to question the organization on the effectiveness of the study and their interpretation of the results and any improvement actions that are needed to improve the effectiveness of the measurement system.